Finally, after four decades, a family has answers. It was hard. watching my mom because my mom never gave up hope. Reba Morrison may never have known what happened to her sister Martha if not for this woman she's never met. A woman suffering her own similar heartache because of a suspected serial killer. You can't kill my sister and expect me. I'm just going to forget about it. You know, it was big news last week when we reported the remains of Portland teenager Martha Morrison had finally been identified. The delay was partly because investigators lost her remains years ago. They were finally rediscovered and identified thanks to a woman named Star Laura and our own investigator Dan Tilkin. Now Dan brings us this story of some very mixed emotions. It was a very cold day and Jamie had gone out to wait for the bus. This may be the last picture ever taken of Star Laura's big sister. On her student ID, Jamie Grissom is forever 16. I knew that day, you know, that something really bad had happened. It was December 7th, 1971. Jamie left their foster home, went to Fort Vancouver High School, and then vanished. Star would sit at this window, watch, and wait. I hoped for a long time until they told me where they found her belongings. Six months after Jamie disappeared, an 11 year old boy and his family were right about here on Dole Valley Road in very remote northeast Clark County. They were picking up trash, and that boy found Jamie's ID. Then, two years later, and three miles south on Dole Valley Road, a neighbor walking up this logging road discovered the remains of two women. One was Carol Valenzuela. The other had never been identified. And Starr wondered, hoped for years, it was Jamie. Clark County detectives have long believed suspected serial killer Warren Forrest was responsible for the deaths of Jamie, Carol Valenzuela, and those mystery remains. In all, Forrest is suspected of killing eight women in Clark County, but Forrest has only been convicted of one murder. Her name was Krista Blake. I uh, abducted uh, a 19-year-old female stranger. Um, under the rules of giving her a, a ride. Forrest admitted what he did in a parole hearing last year. I attacked the individual um, while forcing to uh, uh, the uh, forcing the victim to undress. There was a struggle. Uh, during the struggle, I choked the victim to death. This sheriff's office document says it's suspected that Jamie Grissom is the first victim of Warren Forrest. And star Laura pushed for Clark County detectives to try matching DNA from the unidentified body on the logging road to Jamie, even though a dental comparison said they didn't match. He said, well, Star, they don't have her remains. They're lost. And I, you know, I just felt like he kicked me, you know, I just couldn't even believe it. Four years ago, I discovered the mystery remains had been sent to a Dr. Snow in Oklahoma back in 1977. Dr. Snow was Dr. Clyde Snow, renowned forensic pathologist. In his 80s, Dr. Snow still had meticulous case notes, and he told me and Star he sent the remains back to the Clark County coroner in 1978. The medical examiner looked again and discovered they had the remains all along. The office wrote to me, the specimen was never really lost. At some point in time in the distant past, it was mislabeled. It explained before the county got modern facilities, the absence of a permanent location, multiple moves, and various other factors did not provide the best of environments for maintaining records or evidence. With remains rediscovered, detectives ordered DNA testing to see if they were Jamie. In 2012, this letter arrived with the answer. It wasn't Jamie. I remember that was hard. Yeah. Yeah, because that was like the last 
the last unidentified girl. In the three years since, the Clark County Medical Examiner has gone to great lengths to figure out the mystery remains are Martha Morrison. Her sister Reba talked to us back in October after investigators told her they were close to a breakthrough in Martha's 1974 disappearance. It would just be nice to know really what happened. To prove the remains are Martha, investigators even had to exhume her father's body. That was just a month ago in Arizona. New DNA testing was final proof. When it, they announced, you know, that it was Martha and they knew who she was, that, that was a really good feeling. You know, sad for Jamie, but a really good feeling to know that that girl has been identified. Now, Star waits again hoping Warren Forrest will give up his secrets and ease her pain, 44 years and counting. I do forgive him for killing Jamie, I do. But I won't forgive him for withholding the truth. In recent therapy sessions, Warren Forrest admitted to sexually assaulting eight other women. That's in addition to the eight he suspected of killing but he's never revealed names. He's up for a parole hearing again in 2017. Star Laura and Reba Morrison have never met, but Dan has put the two in touch. We have a lot 